It is probably one of the most secure and used ways to authenticate users on your local area network using LDAP, using a domain controller and the LDAP protocol. So how do you do it? How do you create users? How do you bind your LDAP to your FortiGate and use one account with no special permissions to authenticate and query the database? Coming up. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is how do I set up my LDAP bind? So let's assume that you do have a domain controller and you're using the LDAP protocol. So now let's move over to tools, active directory users and computers, and let's set up a new group and a new uh, user that will be associated with your FortiGate. So we'll use the uh, users group. Now let's just create a new user. And let's name our new user. Let's name it um, Super Admin. All right. So we'll use the Super Admin. Just grab it here let's do the next let's assign a password and we'll skip that next finish now let's look at the super admin properties and we can see that it is a member of the domain users group all right, so the next thing to do is to um, write down the IP address of your server and get the distinguished name of the new user that we have just created. We'll do it using PowerShell. So to look at the um, IP address, let's look uh, uh, using ipconfig and that's 10.0. Dot four dot thirteen, and to get the distinguished name of our user, we'll use the get add user, and let's just uh, write down the name of the user, and it's super admin. That's the distinguished name. CN equals super admin users lab, and the domain controller name is test. All right, so. Let's move back to our FortiGate. And in our FortiGate, we'll move over to Users, Device, LDAP Servers, Create New. Let's just name our server DC1. The IP address is 10.0.4.13. Uh, the default port is 389. That's not a secure port. You can use secure connection, either using TLS or LDAPs. But our connection currently runs on the 389 port. Now let's use the uh, binding itself. We'll use the regular binding. The username as we have just created is super admin. And the password, let's just enter our password. And now we can test our connectivity using the test connectivity button and it is successful. Now let's fetch the distinguished name. That's the top of our hierarchy. And there we are. We are all set. Our LDAP server is now configured on our 48. The next thing to do is to create a user group, a user group that is associated with our LDAP server, and we are not keeping the credentials on our 48. So let's create a new group. Let's name it LDAP. Let's use the remote group and just click on our DC server. And let's just add all the users. And we are done. 